Yo, yo, YouTube is Deepfish Fan here with another duel, uh, game video. <laughs> we have a Mage Mirror match. I'm playing my Play Mage deck. So let's go ahead and send back the Blizzard and the Fireball. I like keeping the Arcane Intellect sometimes because it allows me to draw into some cards if I'm just not drawing what I need. And it's only a three drop, which isn't too terrible. For example, next. Not this first turn, but the next turn I'll be able to use it with the coin, so that's nice. Alright, let's get out the Mana Worm. Make make them deal with it immediately before it gets uh, too strong. And I do have the coin and the missiles to... Uh... <clears throat> that card's good. <laughs> Wait, is it any minion? A random minion? Oh, wow. I thought it was a, a mage minion. Okay. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, missiles this shit. There you go, so I can get the blood in. And I'm not going to waste my coin for a hero power, the Mad Bomber. I just don't feel it's worth it at, right now. I'd rather, like I, as I was alluding to, I'd rather use the coin for the Arcane Intellect. Okay, good. So two of them hit me in the face of the... He's not going to be able to deal with the Mana Worm this turn, which is good because I'll be able to buff it up a little bit more. Hmm... Yeah, that sounds good. Let's Arcane Intellect. Then I have Arcane Missiles as well, so I'll be able to deal 4, not including the Arcane Missile damage. Or 5, wow, okay, nice. There we go, so, we're doing a lot of face damage. Uh, it's turn 3, turn 4 for them, and they're at 18. <clears throat> so, barring any of those secrets where it gives, gives her a shit ton of armor, uh, we're in a very, very good position right now, I would say. So let's play some Mad Bomber. Hopefully it gets some more damage to the face. Nope. Okay, well, it was to the face, but it was to my face, so that's not good. But nonetheless, it gives me a 3-2 minion. I was still able to deal one damage with my hero power. Not the worst turn ever. Although it's probably pretty up there. <laughs> so Flame Cannon's able to deal with that immediately. That's probably what I'm going to lean towards. Let's go Apprentice to make it a 1-drop. And then that way I can still go Mirror Entity and give me a free minion when they play a minion. So that's fair, right? I mean, that's pretty fair. Yeah, Mirror's Entity in this deck is so underrated because... Although its effect by itself isn't fantastic, uh, it's just, it gives me minions, and I don't have a lot of minions in this deck, it's very spell focused, so just having that extra minion from my opponent is really nice. Alright, so things are looking well, I have Fireball to deal 6 damage, so I just need to do 2 more damage, so somehow he's going to have to get rid of all my minions or else he's going to lose next turn. Okay, so he goes to Flame Cannon. Alright, and the Polymorph. It looks like that's his turn, though, which isn't enough. So, let's go Mad Bomber and Fireball to the face for gain. Looks like we got another win here with the Flame Age deck. Fantastic to see. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like the video. Comment down below if you did. And uh, definitely be on the lookout for more Flame Age. This is a deck that I'm having a lot of fun with and doing a lot of damage with. So, <laughs> maybe this is the deck I'll take back into Ranked uh, once I'm ready for it. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.